Hi everybody out there in YouTube land, uh, my subscribers especially. If you recall one of my previous videos, uh, we went over a piece of uh, obsolete test equipment made by Advantest. I believe that's who it was. Uh, a piece of microwave test equipment had a mixer and an oscillator and a uh, circulator. This is the what they call an offset oscillator assembly. I believe it's just a crystal oscillator. If you recall what I said in my previous video was that I wasn't going to fool with this too much until I really, you know, came up with something good to do with it. Well, it's killing me. I could not possibly resist any longer. I just had to take it apart and see what's on the inside. Now this being a high dollar piece of uh, phone company grade surplus equipment, I expected all kinds of magical pornographic electronics to be inside of this little box. So I figured it's got 5 volts in, RF out, oscillator, I figured it had to be some sort of special device. My cell phone goes off right in the middle of trying to film a video. Cell phone ain't gone off for an hour. Of course, it waits till I film a try and film a video to do something. Ain't that about a you know what? And you can see I've left it attached to its jack on the piece of test equipment. And I just unplugged one end of the RF cable and left it plugged into the oscillator assembly. Sorry for the jerky video. It's I just took this apart on this little old stool right here real quick because it was easy and good light. And I could sit down and look at it and hold it still for a second. We will remove the cover. Let's see if I can position this to get a little bit better light in. There we go. Don't know if you can tell or not, but that's a regular. 50 megahertz crystal right there. Power comes in here down this side and then RF comes back out there. What appears to be a gas discharge tube right down there in the bottom left crystal, a little capacitor, inductor, that appears to be a tuned circuit there, probably to get rid of all the overtones and everything and just put out 50 megahertz. I can't really, I can't really tell if that transistor right there is amplifying or maybe just driving the crystal I don't know and I'll try and get you a number off that transistor it is a Motorola 2N5179 Motorola 2N5179 transistor crystal doesn't have a part number on it or I'd give you the crystal part number. Gas discharge tube. Group 76. In Poplar Bluff, it was clear in 70. Johansson? Johansson? I believe it is. There's more capacitors and resistors and diode in there. Very simple. Very old fashioned regular old RF circuitry. Very interesting. 
maybe I'll take this and show uh, some of my more experienced and uh, knowledgeable ham radio friends. Uh, one of them is a professional radio tech, so uh, I'm sure he'll be able to tell me exactly what's going on in here. I think what I'll do for the next video is I will put 5 volts on this connect either the scope or the spectrum analyzer to that and we'll see what this give this thing a little poke around and see what uh, what it'll do um, it may go as far as to hook the mixer up into a test circuit and uh, feed it 50 megs from a uh, this oscillator and then uh, feed it something from my Motorola signal gen and see what comes out the other side. Might make a fairly interesting video. What do you think? If you'd like to see it, post it in the comments down below. If I get a request to see this thing hooked up and uh, working and play around with it, I will most definitely do that. So if you'd like to see it, you'd like to speak some of your knowledge if you happen to know more about this circuitry I'd be happy to hear it I mean I have a basic conceptual idea of what's going on here but not enough to give you a real accurate technical description of things so hope you had a good one hope you enjoyed this look inside a 50 megahertz crystal oscillator module have a good evening enjoy the rest of your time on YouTube and come back for more uh, RF and uh, random videos from uh, Radio Teledata. Thank you very much. Have a good one.